The blockchain industry is growing really fast and as a developer it's really a great niche to be in with high salaries and a lot of remote jobs. But there is something even better. Inside the blockchain industry, there is something called DeFi or Decentralized Finance. It's like a niche in the niche. DeFi is all about reinventing finance but on the blockchain. There is currently $25 billion locked in DeFi and it keeps going up. In this video, I will talk about the DeFi job market. I will explain what are the skills required to work in the DeFi industry, what are the salaries and how to find a job at a DeFi company. And if you don't know me, I'm Julian, ex-finance guy who switched to blockchain in 2017. I've worked for many blockchain and DeFi projects like Lending Block, FutureSwap, and on my channel, Eat the Blocks, I teach blockchain development. First, you need to understand the difference between public DeFi project and anonymous DeFi project. So most DeFi projects are public, but some of them are anonymous like SushiSwap. If you are new in the space, it's super important to build your reputation. So I strongly recommend to go for a public DeFi project. If you work for an anonymous DeFi project, usually they also want you to stay anonymous. So that means you cannot put this in your CV after. Also, public DeFi projects are more stable than anonymous ones. So it's more suited for beginners. If you are a more senior developer and you are willing to take more risk in exchange for higher reward, in this case, it can be interesting to work for Anonymous DeFi project. But in my case, I would prefer not to work for any Anonymous DeFi project. It has to be public. You also have to consider the tax implication. If you work for a public DeFi project, they will give you all the necessary paperwork to report your taxes. But if you work for an Anonymous DeFi project, then it's going to be a little bit more difficult to explain this to tax authorities. Next, a typical DeFi company is usually a small startup. The average number of employees is 14 and usually the majority of employees are developers. So for developers, you have different kind of position. First, you have a front-end specialist, then you have back-end, then you have smart contract and you have DevOps. Depending on the size of the company, this might be actually different position, but in smaller company, usually it's one person that does several things. And then for the non-technical job, you have community managers. You also have DeFi specialists, so people who really understand well the economics of DeFi, what we call the tokenomics. You have product managers, designers, exactly like any other software company. And you also have some people who do business development and marketing. What skills do you need to get this position? So I'm going to focus on developer position because they are really the most valued at DeFi companies with the highest salaries. So to understand the skills required, you need to understand the tech stack. DeFi is built on blockchain and blockchain is built on web technologies. So you really have three different areas to master. So first, web technology, you need to know HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and probably some front and framework like React. Then for blockchain, so most of DeFi happen on the Ethereum blockchain and even for DeFi project on other blockchain, they still reuse the technology of Ethereum. So you will need to write smart contract with Solidity and Truffle. You need to know how to use some Ethereum APIs like Infura. You need to know how you can integrate a smart contract with a front end by using a library like Web3. And when it comes to DeFi, you need to understand the main DeFi concepts like liquidity pools, staking, etc. You also need to know the main DeFi project and how to integrate with them. So for the kind of profile that are interesting for recruiters in DeFi is, for example, if before you used to work in finance or if you were already working in the blockchain industry, but you don't strictly need prior experience in this field. This is just a bonus. You can get started in DeFi as a junior. So I have a course on DeFi development where I teach everything necessary to get started in the industry and I'll give more detail at the end of the video. So now let's talk of something that is super important, salaries in DeFi. So if you want to get well paid by a company, you need to make sure that this company has enough money. Fortunately for us, there are a lot of heavyweight investors from the Silicon Valley that have invested a lot of money in the DeFi industry. For example, A16Z, which is one of the biggest VC in the Silicon Valley, has a fund dedicated to crypto and DeFi. So investors have really identified DeFi as one of their primary targets. So all of this means that there is a lot of money available to pay developers well. 
So if you follow my channel, you probably already heard me saying that for blockchain developers, you can make $100,000 a year. So actually, this is a pretty conservative figure. But when it comes to DeFi, it's even better because this is a niche in the niche. So the average salary for Solidity developer in DeFi is $180,000 a year. So it's really good. And when you compare it with the average salary for other developers, not in DeFi, not in blockchain, this is really higher. So next, let's talk of how to find a job as a developer in the DeFi industry. So first of all, a general remark. If you check out job posting, you will find that they have really exaggerated requirements. Like a lot of them require you to have like five years of experience in DeFi is something completely crazy. Don't be too impressed by this because it's very usual for companies to really exaggerate their requirements. DeFi is a very new industry. Even the most senior guy cannot have more than one year of experience. Even as a junior, you still have all your chances. So the first place to look for DeFi job is job board specialized in the crypto industry. So you can Google crypto job board and you'll find a couple of them, but crypto job list is one of the most famous one. Then you can go to DeFiPearls.com and you will have a list of the biggest DeFi project. And you can go to their website and see if they have any offers. In total, in the DeFi industry, there are hundreds of companies, so you should have enough choice. Then another good way to find a job in the DeFi industry is to participate to a hackathon. For example, you can check out ETH Global, which is the biggest organizer of hackathon in the blockchain industry. And actually, there are a couple of students of my course on DeFi who form a team to participate to this hackathon. During a hackathon, you build a project that is judged by a panel. And at the end, if your project is among the finalists, usually you receive some reward. But no matter if you win or not, it is a great way to get noticed by recruiters. Also, when you do a hackathon, you need to check out bounties and developer rewards that are offered by DeFi project to offer an incentive to build on top of their ecosystem. This can be a great way to build a relationship with this DeFi project. You can also build tools for some existing DeFi project. For example, you can build some dashboard for Uniswap or Compound. You can also be active on GitHub, publish your own DeFi project, or be an open source contributor for existing DeFi project. I don't recommend to try open source if your beginner is more for advanced developers. And you can also be active in the different communities of the DeFi project that interests you. So you go in their Discord, in their Telegram group, and you try to participate in conversation and, and be active. If you're interested in working as a developer in the DeFi industry, there is a lot you need to learn. And unfortunately, it can be a little bit difficult to acquire all the required knowledge. Everything is very new in DeFi and the information is very scattered. That's why I created a course to teach DeFi development. In this course, I teach the main concepts in DeFi like automated market maker, liquidity pools, staking, etc. I also explain how to integrate with the main DeFi protocols like Uniswap or Compound. And at the end, we build a couple of full DeFi projects together. And I also added a module on finance because in DeFi, we often use concept of finance and we just assume that everybody understands, but very often it's not the case. And besides the technical stuff, when you take the course, you also access the private Discord of Eat the Blocks, and this is very valuable to network with other blockchain developers, which can be useful to find your first job at a DeFi company, or if you want to launch your own DeFi project, it's also a good way to find other developers who can work with you on your project. Last note, it's not a course for total beginner. It requires to already know blockchain development. So if you are interested, but you don't know blockchain development, I also have a course on this. You will find all of the info in the description down below. Bye.